New year, new me. This year, I'm finally ready to become a full-time artist. The timing seems just right. This year, I decided to become a full-time artist, a big decision which I had been thinking about for a long time. I thought this year would be the perfect year to begin this new journey. You're an idiot. All jokes aside, I started the year promoting my art commissions, my Patreon, and social media in general. To my surprise, I was able to make money in the first month of the year. It was a little bit, but it gave me the confidence to begin with this journey. But then, doomsday happened. Oh no! God! No! God, please, no! 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 I was supposed to be flying back to Canada the first week of April, but all the borders closed and I lost my apartment, all furniture that was there, everything. My partner and I had to move to a shoebox that passed for an Airbnb in Mexico. Honestly, life as we all knew it was just falling apart. To my surprise, people still wanted and purchased art from me. I never thought anyone would want to buy anything from me in the middle of a world crisis, but they did, and I am forever grateful for that because it's the only thing that kept me together. August came around and my profits became steady. Actually, the only steady thing was my baby business. Now, if you saw my video on how much I make as a small artist, you know I'm no millionaire. Heck, I'm not even a thousander. But my dream is alive. It survived what felt like an apocalyptic year. It's now December as I'm writing this script. I think it's safe to say we're all a bit scared of what's to come for next year. Who knows what awaits us on the other side. But I know I'll keep working on my dream to be a full-time artist and I'll give my best to thrive and grow. Thank you all for being here, I hope you're all safe, and thank you so much for supporting my dream this year.